I'm Betty Musfeld at the Agricultural Heritage Center. I'm a volunteer here. We are in the farmhouse at the Agricultural Heritage Museum. And today I am going to try and show you some of the different artifacts that we have here in the house. And I'm also going to try and show you how children who were members of a farm family were so important to helping out in a farming situation and to help with the success of the farm. This farmhouse was built in 1909 and it has no running water, no electricity, no bathroom, no furnace, and of course, no technology. So, when the first thing the kids would have to do a lot of would be carrying. So they would have to start by carrying water into the house on a regular basis, taking the bucket, take it out to the well, fill it up, pump it full of water, bring it in. So the water, of course, being used for bathing, for eat, uh, drinking, and for cleaning and cooking. So water would have been a really important thing to keep bringing into the house. In addition, there was a cook stove in the kitchen. So the kids would have to bring in coal and corn cobs, which were used for kindling to start the fire and coal to continue the fire. So they would be hauling that in. They would be bringing in the vegetables from the garden. They would bring in the eggs from the chickens. They would bring in um, anything and anything that needed to be carried in. So if you were a child on this farm, you would have to adjust to some dif different difficulties, such as you could help first off with the laundry. So this is a washboard and I think the tub was generally a little bit bigger than this one, but you would soak down, put the water in the tub. Of course, you would have to heat it on the stove first, put the water in the tub, scrub the washboard with soap, wet your shirt and start scrubbing. So then this, I call this an upgrade because when I have kids coming through on my tours, I always ask them what this is and they always say a plunger. And of course I tell them we have no bathroom, so this couldn't be a plunger. But this is an agitator and it helps you get your washing done a little faster. If you fill the, put the water in the tub, the clothes in the tub, and then this serves as a way of getting several pieces of clothing clean, hopefully at one time. So this would be a faster way of doing that. Okay. Um, now we talk about the bathroom situation. So you would need to go to the bathroom in the outhouse, which is located, I don't know, 50 yards away from the house. And if it is nighttime and it's freezing cold outside and you have to go to the bathroom, this becomes a problem for you. So you would have to get dressed, put your coat on, your boots, um, you would have to take your lantern and go out to the outhouse to go to the bathroom. So in order not to have to do that, the farmers had a chamber pot under the bed. And so there were other names for it, slop jar, uh, thunder, something, mug, I think. So that you would take this pot from under the bed, you would take the lid off, you would go to the bathroom, you would put the lid back on it, and you would put it back under the bed. Then in the morning, one of the big jobs for you as a kid on this farm would be to empty this outside in the outhouse and clean it and get it ready for the next night. And because it smells so wonderful, there's even a rose on the top lid of this chamber. 
All right, another job would be butter churning. So you would put cream in the butter churn and to get cream, of course, they melt the cow. And if you would put the milk, set the milk down for a while, the cream rises to the top. So you would then take that cream, put it in here. This is called a dasher. You would, you would continuously move this up and down until you got butter, which would probably take 20 to 30 minutes of your time. So this is an upgrade from that. This is a butter churn. It has a wheel and it has a paddle. So it's faster, it's much more efficient. And I'm sure people would have enjoyed this, doing this a little more than the other. All right. Um, this was their vacuum. So the farmhouse would have had rugs throughout the throughout the whole house, rag rugs probably. And so they would take these rugs out in the spring, hang them on the line, and beat the dust and dirt out of them. So this would have been a rug beater. I'm sure it was also used for blankets because they had down blankets and feather bed kind of things and they could put them out on the line and beat the dust and dirt out of them. Another item, of course, this is a feather duster made out of turkey feathers. So this would be a way to dust. Another item that they would have needed in the front entrance of this house is an ice box. There was no refrigerator, so the ice box on the top, you would put the block of ice, and on the bottom, you would put the food. So they would have to go out and um, get the blocks of ice and bring them in with these ice tongs and then replace them as they melted. So, another fun job. Uh, so, I think that pretty much covers some of the jobs that uh, farm kids would have had to deal with when they were growing up on the farm. There was time for play, but they were expected to do their chores and contribute to the um, to the farm family.